Speaker, I wish my arms were long enough so I could pat the honourable member on his back. Madam Speaker, on Tuesday, I asked the Minister of Immigration about the Liberals wasting $6.4 million to renovate Canadian forces bases for refugees that never came. The Minister's response was, my colleague beside me, and I quote, the colleague beside me, the Minister of National Defence, confirms there is nothing truthful in his comments about defence. The Defence Minister knew that money was spent. And Madam Speaker, why did the Defence Minister give the Minister of Immigration false information, and why did they both mislead Canadians? The, the, the Honourable Minister of National Defence, uh, Parliamentary Secretary. CAF has been engaged, along with other elements in the government, in this massive uh, re, uh, repatriating of these refugees. They've, contrib they've contributed to they contributed to the medical screenings, they contributed to the airlift, and of course they contributed to the potential housing. But because Canadians have stepped up, the housing that was renovated at the time in anticipation of the refugees coming to this country uh, was not used. The, the happy consequence, Mr. Speaker, or Madam Speaker, is that uh, these refugees are housed. The Honourable Member for Barry Innisfil. <clears throat> I need to answer the question, uh, Madam Speaker, and maybe I'll try one more time. One would think, Madam Speaker, that these two ministers would have a handle on what's going on considering how closely they supposedly worked on this file. Our order paper question signed off by the Minister of Defence confirmed that this money was in fact spent on barracks which were never used. Madam Speaker, did the Minister of Defence not know what he signed on? Or is he deliberately trying to mislead Canadians? Yeah. Yeah. Parliamentary Secretary for the Minister of National Defence. Uh, Madam Speaker, it's only the uh, Conservative opposition that can turn happy news into bad news. Surely to goodness it's good news that the barracks were not have to be used. Surely to goodness it's good news that the ultimate deployment of $6 million to upgrade the facilities is good news. We, the good news, Mr. S uh, Madam Speaker, is that all of these refugees are now located where they should be, in the towns and cities across this country. 